Hello everyone, welcome. So, Galaxy Season isn't over quite yet for me. i still got a couple that I can pick and choose from. However, I'm going for a tag that I uh, went for about a month ago. Um, talk about that in a minute. Um, as for Nebulas, uh, that sort of target ain't going to happen as yet because uh, the field of view for my yard is, well, rubbish. <laughs> so, uh, I've got to wait another three weeks, perhaps maybe a month, until I can start getting them uh, again. Uh, so, tonight, it's all about Messier 81 and 82. Now, I did do a video on this when uh, I did my first impressions when I got my EQ6R Pro and used that for the first time properly. Um, I'll leave a video link, should pop up here in a second. Um, anyway, um, what I did was in that video I used the Canon 77D scope. Uh, that I was using, which is funny enough, the one I'm going to be using tonight is in a star 61 from William Optics. Um, however, tonight the camera I'm using is my new camera, the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro. So, before I go out and set up, uh, I'll just show you the uh, image that I took last and talk a little bit about uh, the targets that I'm going to be capturing tonight. So, I pulled the uh, final image it's the tiff file and uh into photoshop so i was quite happy with this image um to be honest uh, only three hours worth of data i collected like i mentioned uh, i used my 77d which is modified uh, so zoom in here there's some uh, nice color colors come out there some nice detail all in all yeah like i said uh, very happy with that uh, so these two galaxies are roughly about 12 million light years away from Earth and you can find them in Earth's major. We'll hop over to Stellarium and we'll talk a bit more about that and how to find them. I've already brought the layer up. Uh, if you look at the top right hand corner, yeah, I've got the 533 camera and the Zenith Star 61 uh, highlight. So that's what this box here is. So over here, here's Polaris, the pole star. And this major is over here, the plough. And the two galaxies are located just here where it's highlighted. So I'm zoom in. This is what the field of view is going to, should look like um, once I've framed up. It's not too bad. And obviously I'm going to be cropping that up a bit. So when I'm finished with it after processing, it should be about that size maybe. Hopefully, and I say hopefully because you can't uh, bank on everything going right in astrophotography, especially lately for me, but that's what it should look like. Uh, how much time I'm going to get on these targets, I don't know. Uh, it's coming in summer months, uh, nights are getting shorter and shorter uh, every night, so um, I'll be happy if I get two hours, to be honest. I'm more than happy with that, um, but it'd be nice to see the comparison um, for myself, uh, so yeah. Before I go, let me just flick over to the 77 days. So yeah, there you go. That's how it looked like in the field of view with the 77D. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do now, I've already got the rig out. It's been out all day actually. I was out imaging last night. Uh, I would say I didn't have to pour the line, but my daughter decided to bump into it earlier, so that'll be out. So uh, I've got all that to do. Um, and yeah, so I'll catch up here once I've set up and uh, the sun starts to go down. So I'm uh, all connected up to my desktop. What I'm viewing on my laptop is what I'm seeing on my desktop. I can control this through TeamViewer. So uh, yeah, about 11.30 now. Just uh, just about to do my one star alignment on my mount and um, the star I'm using, it's actually close to uh, where we're gonna be um, 
imaging tonight. Uh, it's in the plough. It's the star. Hang on, it's the Alioth or something like that. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but um, I am quite limited. Uh, about well, when I first got them out, I was able to do it on Capella. And it's a nice bright star, but uh, yeah, I'm very limited with my field of view, so I'm just going to do all that. Just fine tune it once it's done. So what I can do on here, I can go on the live view, but the camera uh, is going to be picking up. Okay, so a little bit behind. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what was going on. Um, doing something that Nina didn't like uh, she decided to have a fit um, I just didn't want to play uh, so I had to reboot it and it worked fine um, so yeah so uh, take you through the uh, my, well the first two exposures and I have to say wow I mean look at that <laughs> absolutely brilliant yeah I'm more than happy with that I mean look at that look at the detail and that that's a uh, one five minute exposure I'm guided. Apologies everyone, I'm going to have to throw a little edit in here. So I'm just putting the video together now. It's called the 30 to me and it's now the 17th of June. So I have realised the uh, error of my ways since. Uh, apparently I can't count. Uh, either that or I'm getting really attached to the number five because I'm not doing five minute exposures. I'm doing 500 seconds, which is eight minutes 20. Uh, I didn't think that was possible unguided, uh, so I'm really impressed with this mount and my pole alignment must have been pretty spot on as well. I did wonder on the night why the sequences were taking longer than what they should and uh, uh, the pennies didn't sort of drop until the day after and then I realised what I'd done. Uh, so feel free to shake your head at me in disbelief because I certainly did and I'll let you get back to the video. So I've done a two hour sequence, uh, I'll see how we're faring up on the daylight, uh, if it's if the exposure's still looking good I'll maybe squeeze a few more out uh, and just um, yeah, see how it goes, I need to leave enough room for darks anyway. But uh, apart from that little uh, coffin spurt from Nina, uh, I'm on that with that. Okay, uh, well that's... I'll go for you. Uh, I have a really good feeling about this uh, about this image. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. Watch this, I'll, I'll be eating my words. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think it's about time. Um, I've had a bit of a... Uh, it's been quite unlucky. All, obviously, all the weather has been quite bad weather. Um, over this weekend, it's been really, really good. I had uh, t two nights on the trot. Um, I'm debating if it's clear tomorrow night. Um, get out um, again for another session but um, I don't know if that's going to have a knock on effect with work because I work nights so I uh, don't want to absolutely um, destroy myself um, for the week coming to be honest but see how I feel um, if it does all work out which I have a feeling it will I uh, hope you enjoy the image hope you enjoyed the uh, video everyone um, Thank you very much for all the recent subscribers and everyone who's still subscribed and supporting the channel and everyone's uh, comment liked the videos. Uh, uh, very much appreciated and it means a lot. It really does. Uh, so on that note, take care everyone and bye for now.